Well, welcome back, everyone. Finding the right skincare routine is really one big mystery to many of us. Do you need antioxidants and exfoliators? What about toners and sunblock? There's so many things to think about. Women spend a fortune trying to look younger, but how do you know what makes a difference and what's just a waste <laughs> of money? Well, Dr. Deborah Mangioni and Anna McAllister are here with the Wisconsin Vein Center and Medi Spa, and they're here to demystify your skincare regimen. Good right. to see you, ladies. Thank it you. It kind of is a mystery. It is a mystery. And really, there's more than one part to all this. So we're going to start today just talking a little bit about protection. So that sunblock and antioxidants. We can kind of look at this as antioxidants 101. I don't want anyone to get scared. We're not going into big chemical processes. But I think it helps to understand what we're talking about when we say you should have these things for your skin. Mm -hmm. It does because I think it's confusing. You know, we often hear all these different things or you go to any place that, you know, sells skin products and you you can be told you're supposed to be using eight different products and oh, you don't absolutely. know what's important. Right. So what are antioxidants and how important are they in our regimen? Okay. Well, well, antioxidants are basically um, nutrients and minerals that can help enzymes that help to prevent oxidation damage to the cells. So one of, some of the things that are listed as antioxidants. Um, yep, well, there's chemicals that protect the cell. Right, from external damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's why it's important to know that antioxidants have to be applied to the skin from the outside. It is very important to be eating foods that are rich in nutrients mm -hmm. and antioxidants, but that's really not going to be skin protective. Most of the time you actually need to apply it to the surface of the skin to get it to the cells you want to protect, which are the skin cells. So, for instance, protection begins with sunblock. Mm -hmm. And we know that sunblock have many ingredients, and the most common ones might be zinc oxide, mm -hmm. titanium oxide, and there are some other chemicals, and they work to pre prevent sun damage and radiation from getting to the cells, but then at the cellular level you also want protection, and those are where the antioxidants come in. Okay. So what happens is oxidation occurs in every cell in the body. It's the normal sequence of events, the normal physiology and metabolism within cells. And okay? this is an oxygen molecule. What right. is important about this? Well, the oxygen molecule O2, as we all know it, mm -hmm occurs as two atoms of, mo of oxygen which are bonded together. Mm -hmm. And then oxidation occurs and that splits apart. That's a normal part of metabolism, but what happens is then you have some free electrons in that outer little uh, circumference in the outer circle uh, around the nucleus of the atom, and those are scavengers and radicals. They have to bond with something else. Are and those, that, is that that term free radical? That's exactly okay. right. That's a free radical. The atom is the free radical because it's supposed to be stable as a molecule. Mm -hmm. You are the best student in science. Class. I know. <laughs> so <you're gonna> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and, and so what happens is that atom starts to attack something else so it can bond to something else to become stable again. Okay. And that's when you start having breakdown. Now, oxidation occurs normally, mm -hmm. every day. And Anna brought a great example well, of it. An apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, even in nature, oxidation takes place. And I think the thing that uh, struck me is that we all hear, oh, you know, you need to protect yourself from the sun. And I thought, oh, just too much sun if mm -hmm. I get too tan. But even someone who doesn't go out in the sun per se too tan is going to have this happen. This is what we're seeing is oxidation, the browning of the after it's yeah. been cut. And what happens is, although oxidation occurs normally, when we're very young, we have a lot more natural mm -hmm. antioxidants in our cells, and so we have protection. But as antioxidants bond with that free radical oxygen, they need something else to help protect them. And so we always need a constant supply of antioxidants. What happens is, however, our bodies can be exposed to what we call oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. And so the oxidation process is speeded up by radiation, by smoke in the atmosphere, by pollution. So the sunlight and pollution and smoke really are external, uh, external factors mm -hmm. that increase oxidative stress and speed up that process of oxidation therefore speeding up the aging process. Which we all hear environmental factors. Right. Absolutely. There's a ton. So, so, then, so what do we do? What do we, what do we, it's okay, all. Okay, so the natural antioxidants are the vitamins A, C, and E, also okay. known as retinols, ascorbic acid, alpha trocopherol, mm -hmm. and then what? there are additional Lots of big ones. names. <laughs> right. Then there are additional ones. We have Edibinone, which is in Provage. 
uh, ferulic acid and green teas all have natural antioxidants. Mm -hmm. In addition, there are many natural antioxidants that occur in plants and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So some of the botanicals actually also confer a protective mechanism of antioxidation when you use those in skin products as well. You just have to make sure you have a high enough concentration and they're the right form of the molecule of the antioxidant to give you the protection. So how do you know which one you need? Because I know certain products they might have C and E together, right. others have that Floritin CF. Right. How do you know which one you should well, be they're using? They're all excellent. They're okay. all excellent. And what you just need to know is that they have the enough of the product to work. You, we, will find, we have found that vitamin A and vitamin C not only are protective, but they also encourage cell growth okay. and cell turnover, which mm -hmm. you want when in the skin especially because we're losing that external layer of skin, the epidermis keeps flaking off. You want new cell growth, so mm -hmm. C and A are very important. But the other antioxidants are also extremely important any one of them is going to be protective for your skin. You need to build up a certain level in the skin for it to be protected to, be, to work. So it usually takes four or five days to get to that circulating half-life where you're going to have protection for a while. Okay. Once or twice a day then is enough to keep up that antioxidant oxidant level. Uh, but it's just very, very important in that aging process to delay aging and they're also reparative. And we all want to delay and repair. Delay, this is a delay, delay. delay. And I think the moral of this story is really to come to professionals, to, to talk to people who know what they're doing and can take a look at your skin and help you pick the right products for you. So right. here's as the you information. See. And there's many, many products. As you see, we mm -hmm. carry a whole line of products, not necessarily just one brand. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can help you choose what's best for you. And Deborah Wonderful. obviously knows what she's doing. Look at her skin. Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. You guys always look so gorgeous. <laughs> Those are some of the products that they offer at the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa. And here's the information so you can stop in and have your own personal consultation. They're located on Georgetown Drive in Pewaukee. The phone number is 262-746-9088 or visit their website at wimedispa.com. Thank, Thank you. you.